All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of How Do I Do This Anyways. Uh, today, what we're doing is 20 ISOs block number three. So if you need help with this, great. Now is a good time to listen. So it's just a standard block. We're going to make it with our typical primitive overall rough shape. And then we're going to cut out this big section here. And then we're going to add that little section on there. So let's go ahead and get into Inventor and get started. So we're going to go ahead and open a new document. So we're going to click new and we want a standard dot IPT and it'll eventually load. Someday. All right, cool. Maybe, maybe we're going to start a 2D sketch and I'm going to go ahead and put that on this plane right there. I'm going to rotate my view so that way it's reading the top correctly because I want this thing to be oriented correctly. I'm going to click my rectangular tool, and I'm just going to click here at the origin, and then I'm going to drag out to make an 8-inch, and then hit tab to switch over by 5-inch block. Now I'm going to hit E to extrude that block. It recognizes that it's a closed shape, so it's wanting to do that one. 5 just back out make sure that looks about right yep okay so now I got my primitive shape so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this little cutout that's right here get rid of that triangle so going back to inventor I'm going to start a 2d sketch on that face now I know that I'm going to be three over and I'm going down to this corner. So it's gonna make a little triangle here, but I need to include the geometry of this edge and this edge because that's what I'm gonna cut out. So I'm gonna project that geometry. I'm gonna select project geometry, that side and that side. Now, I'm also gonna go ahead and put a point on that. And the reason I'm gonna put a point is so that way I can easily connect the dots. So I'm just going to put that point eh, somewhere on the line, but not where I want it exactly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dimension from that edge to the point. And I'm going to put that at three inches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my line tool and I'm going to click on that point. You see how it turns green? I'm going to click on that point and I'm going to click down here to that green corner. I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to hit escape to drop the tool. Now, I'm going to finish that sketch. So what I have here is this thing going on there. Now I'm going to click my extrude button, and it only recognizes that side as being a closed shape. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and cut it, and I'm going to go through all and click OK. So now I'm left with that, which is a great place to be. So now I want to go ahead and I want to put on this little thing. It is a three by three inch cube, but it's only that half of the cube. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to my inventor. I'm going to start a 2D sketch and I'm going to start it on that back side. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm including this geometry right there. So I got to click project geometry because I'm just going to sketch a triangle. It's going to come up three, and then it's going to come over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I dimension this to be from here to that point. I want that to be three. Same deal is true here. I want to make sure that this from here to there is three. Uh, I can't because it would over constrain. That would be three out of three sides of a triangle. So right click and up all my tools by hitting escape, and then right click and hit delete. There. Now I should be able to hit extrude and grab this, but I want to make an extrusion that is going in the opposite direction. So it's going to add to that, and it's going to add three inches to that. Okay. So now, click OK, and boom, I have my shape. So 
Now, go ahead, click File, Save As, and this is just going to be should be your twenty ISOs. Number three, underscore your initials. All right, popped up here at the top, as well as, let's just make sure it's in my file explorer. Glazer, Inventor 2020, boom, there. So we're good to go. All right, so hopefully you found this video useful, and hopefully you're doing all right. Take care.